Python functions. Okay, the way we create functions is we use the word def define, and we use some uh, name of the function aaa. You can call it whatever you want: bbb, a, display stats, etc. So this is totally up to you, just like variable names. And then we have uh, some brackets here, regular bra uh, bra brackets, and we have a colon. And everything that's defined within the function is is tabbed in and this uh, uh, IDE and the default Python editor here automatically tabs it in for us as we press enter here. Print hello, print how are you. So what is what is this f thing called the function actually doing? Well we're defining it here and we're actually calling the function here. We're calling the function by actually typing in the same name of the function which happens to be AAA, bracket bracket. Okay, so functions always have brackets. <clears throat> that's how we know it's different than a variable. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save this and run it, and just to give you an idea what what it's gonna do. A function simply runs the code. Hello, how are you? That's what it prints out. So as you actually, so here we're not actually running any code at all. We're just defining it. This uh, line of code, we are actually running the, we we are actually calling the function, and running code. Here we are not calling the code. We are merely defining defining the function. All right, what's the point? Who cares? So functions save time. Imagine uh, we had a function called uh, display health, Dis display uh, player stats, player stats. Notice how I use uppercase between letters just to make it a bit more clear. Okay, uppercase is called camera camel case uh, format. You don't have to make it all uppercase like that, but people like that just because it's easier to read or some people like using underscore player stats. Okay, that's uh that's another notation that's pretty popular. I'll just stick with this cuz it involves less typing. So, imagine having this function called display play player stats. Now here, uh, if you make a video game, I can see how you may uh, display the player stats on more than one occasion. You'd be displaying it many times throughout your code. And here, this this is only two lines of code, but imagine there was a lot more stuff involved. Maybe you have uh, dozens of lines of code here. You had uh, nested if statements and, and loops and all this crazy amount of code. Every time you call this function display player stats, you would essentially have to cut and paste hundreds of lines of code rather than just calling it whenever you need it. So here I'm calling display player stats twice and let's see what happens. It goes hello how are you? Hello how are you? We display the player stats twice. So this the the the, the, the pain behind having uh, functions in the first place and defining them is to save time. You, you, uh, your, your code does not get as bloated. Imagine having so many lines of code cut and paste all over the place. It'd be quite, uh, uh, it, it'd be quite bloaty. Your, your Python file would grow and grow and grow. Be very inefficient and nobody wants to hire you as, for your programming skills because your code is uh, like spaghetti code. It's all over the place and very inefficient. Bad, bad, bad programming practices. So here we go, we have a function and uh, I hope you uh, memorize the words DEF, which defines it. Just pick a name, don't forget your brackets, your colon, and you just type in some, uh, <clears throat> some, uh, uh, some lines of code you want to execute and we can call function by actually using the same name. And once again, don't forget those brackets. Alright, stay tuned for more on functions.